Welcome to Electron Online. Our next example is the integral of the sine to the fourth power of x dx. How do we figure that out? Well, again, it all depends on finding the right tricks to do this. We need to simplify this as much as possible. So what we can start out doing is probably the following. Write this as the integral of the sine of x or the sine square of x quantity squared times dx. Now what we can do here is take this and find the proper identity. The sine squared of x can be written as this, so let's make that substitution. This can now be written as the integral of 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of 2x. And the whole thing squared, because we still have this quantity squared, so the sine squared of x becomes this, squared times dx. Hmm. We can square the 1 half, take it to the outside, so this is equal to 1 fourth times the integral of 1 minus the cosine of 2x squared times dx. And now if we square this, we get the following. Again, what we're trying to do here is make it as simple as possible so we have everything to the first power that makes it easier to integrate. This is equal to 1 quarter times the integral of, squaring this out, you get 1 minus 2 times the cosine of 2x plus the cosine squared of 2x times dx. The only thing we have left is we have the cosine square of 2x here. We can again simplify that. Let me write that over here. If we have the cosine square of 2x, that is equal to, now come over here, we have the cosine square of x is equal to this. So that means it's equal to 1 half times 1 plus the cosine of 4x. Notice that we double the angle and everything else looks exactly the same, which means when we come over here, we can take this quantity here and write it like that. Let's go ahead and do that. This is equal to 1 quarter times the integral of 1 minus 2 times the cosine of 2x, plus, instead of writing the cosine square of 2x, we write 1 half times 1 plus the cosine of 4x, and the whole thing times dx. Okay, now we need to simplify this a little bit more. This is equal to 1 quarter times the integral of, here we have 1 plus a half, that makes it 3 halves, minus 2 times the cosine of 2x, and plus 1 half times this, plus 1 half times the cosine of 4x. Put parentheses around that, times dx. And now we're about ready to start integrating this. Let's write this as three separate integrals. Come over here. And this is equal to one quarter times. The first integral would be 3 over 2 times dx minus the second integral would be 2 times the integral of the cosine of 2x times dx. And I left a little room here for a reason plus one-half times the integral of the cosine of 4x dx. And again, I left a little bit of room here for a reason. The reason why I left room is because if you want to integrate the cosine of 2x, you need a 2dx here. And if you want to integrate the cosine of 4x, you need a 4dx there. Using a different color so you can see what I'm doing. We need a 2dx. Of course, when we multiply times 2, we have to divide by 2. Here we need a 4x. When you multiply times 4, you have to divide by 4. You need to do that. Now we're ready to integrate all three of the integrals. This is equal to 1 quarter, one quarter times. The integral of dx is x. That would be 3 over 2x minus 2 divided by 2 is 0, of course. The integral of the cosine. Remember, the derivative of the sine is the cosine, so the integral of the cosine is the sine. You get the sine back, so minus the sine of 2x, and here plus 1 8. The integral of the cosine would be the sine, so that would be the sine of 4x, and we still have a constant of integration. Now multiplying the 1 quarter through, this becomes... 3 over 8x minus 1 quarter sine of 2x 
and plus 1 over 32 times the sine of 4x plus a constant integration, which is the solution to that integral. Wow, without tricks, I don't think we would have gotten there. So we write the sine to the fourth of x as the sine square of x squared. And then we make the substitution that the sine square of x can be written like that in terms of the cosine of 2x, so the first power. We multiply this out. Now we get a square again. So to get rid of the square, we then come over here and we do a similar substitution. Instead of the cosine of x, is the cosine of 2x squared. It becomes that. We substitute that in. And then you combine all the terms. Now you realize that everything is to the first power. And then you can go ahead and integrate each of these separate integrals like that. And that's how we do that.